incredible. And much to our surprise, after that pitch of five songs to Kevin McCullough, he said six words. I get proclaimed every time I say this. Six words that changed our life. He said, I think you have something here. Uh, takes a lot of courage to say that, by the way, for people who've never written a Broadway show before. Uh, and so, around that time, after he did this, we realized we needed some help writing this book. And see, we, we brought on our third collaborator, John O'Farrell, who was with us here. <laughs> John turned out to be in uh, The Missing Link, not in that Neanderthal. <laughs> he turned out to be exactly what we needed, because not only is he an incredibly funny writer, but he also knew a lot about Shakespeare, which meant less reading for us. <laughs> <laughs> so we all ended up in uh, New York together in uh, April of uh, 2011. That's actually when Wayne and John met for the first time face to face. We worked on the story, and then somehow we found ourselves in Kevin McCullum's office, and he had arranged uh, a meeting with this guy who had just come off this uh, tiny little show called Book of Mormon. <laughs> and we thought, yeah, but that guy's going to want to do our show. And again, much to our surprise, we pitched it to him, and he's like, great, I love it. Uh, <laughs> pretty good case. <laughs> uh, and he came on board. And then before you know it, we were off and writing, which meant more songs were written, and more songs had to be cut. And one of the songs that we thought would be so great was in Act Two. We thought after the Bottom Brothers had come up with this idea for Omelette, that it would be good to hear from the townspeople. And they're responding to this rumor that Nick Bottom and his brother Nigel are writing a musical. And here's what we came up Responds to songs. It's not demoralizing at all. 